Hey, good morning everyone. Frank Valkyrie here. Welcome to the channel. Let's talk about a little bit copyrights and stuff of that nature. I was just watching a video for YouTube creators about fair use and I got inspired about this and also made me think. Of course, as you know, the niche of reactionist, people reacting to music and other stuff is so big and growing on YouTube that it feels almost strange that companies and YouTube they're not trying in a faster way to solve this you know obviously there is a demand people love to watch other people reacting to stuff their favorite songs or movie or trailers or new whatever and so there is there this demand for this type of videos to be made but i also understand the other side of the argument you know and i always thought that companies monetizing your video is the quickest way just to make everybody happy and then you can say like yeah but then you work for free i know it's a little bit working in a gray area you know like uh, like a little bit news they've always done for a long time but reacting and commenting it's something that it's been always there we have always done it you know sharing your music in the car driving around with your friend or in a parking lot cranking up the volume and all your friends dancing and just enjoying the music or talking about your favorite movie or the movie that you just saw the last weekend all those things that always happen it's also the reason why things get popular people share people share and we share today on youtube it's become a new way of having an avenue to express yourself and do something of course i'm not saying uh, i expect anything you know like you could also argue like who told you to do stuff or to even go into this uh, type of direction and that's why also you know i always try to see uh, every angle of those things and uh, I was wondering if uh, I should more focus on a different direction on this channel of course I'm an artist myself I have copyrighted material out there uh, I would be upset if somebody will steal my novel and copy word by word what I've done but I will, I will be absolutely thrilled if somebody will choose to read passages uh, on YouTube or something you know I would be totally happy about that so I think there's a sense of urgency from uh, all the parts involved, you know, creators doing it for the right reason and in the right way, you know, really with the intention of commenting, sharing, analyzing, and the company also understanding that we are in 2020. This is the first time we're going through this, of course. Uh, it's like the flow of information, it's unprecedented on every platform. So. It requires also a new way of thinking about solutions instead of just uh, forcing people with an iron fist. You can't do this. You get blocked. You get punished. You get taken off the air. And that's also unfair, I think, uh, to an extent, you know. Uh, so, in the, you know, I'm just ranting about it this a little bit because on one hand, uh, I see that there is a demand for this type of videos and there's a ton of creators which they're growing and they're also very big from vocal coaches to critics or whatever even channels like mine which a year ago I had barely like a couple of thousand subscribers and now we are 35,000 thanks to you because you like to come by and watch what I think about things and sharing also my covers because that also goes if you singing a cover of somebody else you still go under you know potentially copyright infringement and so on and so forth so I think it's there is that sense of urgency of trying to find good solutions for everybody here to be happy but personally uh, I was wondering if I should go in a different direction do more vlogs you know more talks stuff where I have less of a risk of, a, of exposing myself to those still uh, unscripted like a gray area danger so to speak you know because I put a lot of effort honestly I have published more than a thousand videos and I think more than 700 in the last year alone so it requires a lot of motivation consistency to show up every day and try to do something that you want to watch whatever it is you know and uh, so I'm just here like hoping that uh, there are solution be made and not just the easier way of always punishing creators uh, because it's the easiest way you know you just block somebody you take it off the air and that's it I think there must be ways of also recognizing uh, somebody that it's literally just 
uh, truly speculating on, on, on a song of somebody else, reposting a video, I don't know, or somebody doing commentary, trying to add something to it uh, in whatever way. Um, so anyway, this is my rant. I also wanted to share this with you guys to see what you think, also because you are my audience. And um, I know I'm perfectly capable to give you more covers, uh, more of my songs, more vlogs, more talks, and um, be less uh, exposed to the risk of being taken down or blocked or whatever because I share, um, you know, commentary or songs of other people. Anyway, just some thoughts. Let me know what you think about this. And always spread love. And I'll catch you later. Ciao.